Hey, what's going on everybody? So I'm gonna show you how you can upgrade the firmware on your Screen B Mini 2. And make sure you watch this video because I had some trouble at first and I'll show you basically how to bypass that. First thing to do is grab your Android phone and then you want to go to the Google Play Store or basically your App Store right here. Tap on that and then you wanna look for Screen Beam Config Utility. Download, install it, and then go ahead and click on Open. Okay, and then once you do this, uh, it'll start scanning and it'll look for your actual Screen Beam Mini 2 device. Mine is showing right here. Now the thing is if I tap on this, it's going to try to connect and it won't connect. And the TV on here, it'll say connecting and it'll stay like that forever. Okay. In order for me to bypass that, what I do is actually go ahead and start screen mirroring my device now. This is a Samsung Galaxy S7 by the way. So let me go ahead and screen mirror this first. So let me just scroll down here. Tap on this down arrow. And the Samsung Galaxy, like S6, S7, they don't call it screen mirroring, they call it smart view. So I'm gonna tap on smart view here. And here is the screen beam down here. Let me connect on that. And let's go ahead and mirror it first. So this is connecting you now. Give it a second here. Great, okay. Now we're in business. And now for some reason it works like this when I do this, okay? So you can see some information on here, some settings and stuff that you can change here. So what I'm gonna do from here is, you see this little down arrow right here? I'm gonna go ahead and tap on that. And now it says firmware. So what you gotta do is tap on check, like that. And I already have the latest firmware update because I just updated uh, the firmware on my Screen B Mini 2. However, you'll click up here and then it'll say um, there is a new version. The previous version I had was like 5.2.3. This is 5.3.11. Then you simply do is you tap on upgrade here, and then it'll go through the process, and it'll be a while. Make sure you don't turn your phone off or the actual, um, your TV, or, or basically don't take the power off out of the screen beam, because it's gonna be a while. It's gonna keep rebooting. Then it's gonna update the firmware, firmware, and then the TV's gonna go black for about like 10, 15 seconds, and it's gonna come back on, and then it's gonna do the whole process. And once it's up, then you'll see the little um, firmware and I'll show you. Let me go ahead and just get out of this right here. So basically before I upgrade it, it said it was in the middle here. It said version like 5.23. Now that I updated the firmware, now it's like over here and the version is 5.3.11.0. And that's pretty much it. If you guys still have questions or anything, comment below. If you want to know how to do a factory reset on this, look in the link below. If you guys subscribe, that'd be great. Thanks for watching. Bye.